हे क्लास हाय हेलो नमस्ते वीडियोज so this is exercise 4.3 and today we are going to discuss question number 2 question number 3 and question number 5 right so let's start the class okay so the first question we have is this given the equation of two lines passing through the point 2 comma 14 how many more such lines are there and why so we need to find out the equations of lines which will pass through the point 2 comma 14 that means x is equal to 2 y is equal to 14 now we need to write the equation in x and y such that those equations are going to satisfy this part so i can say suppose x plus y is equal to 16 first this will satisfy if i put x equal to 2 y equal to 14 2 plus 14 will be 16 second equation i can write as x minus y so 2 minus 14 will be equal to minus 12 so these are the two equations which will satisfy this Now the question is saying how many more such lines are there? अब बेटा एक बात बताओ. If you will see, let's say this is the point two comma fourteen. Okay, so one line is passing through like this. Other line is passing through this point like this. Other line is passing through point like this. This, this. So this way I can draw infinite lines passing through this point. So we know from one point infinite lines can pass. so how many such lines are possible infinitely many lines are possible infinitely many lines are possible got it okay theek hai beta chalo let's go for the next question if the point 3 comma 4 lies on the graph of the equation 3y is equal to ax plus 7 find the value of a now we know beta that this point 3 comma 4 this point 3 comma 4 lies on the graph lies on the graph of this line 3y is equal to ax plus 7 we know all the points which are present on the line they represent a solution so that means i can say this 3 comma 4 is a solution of the equation definitely if a point is lying on the graph it must be a solution of that equation that means if i put x equal to 3 and y equal to 4 in this equation it should satisfy so let's put it 3y is equal to ax plus 7 given so it will become 3 into put y as 4 is equal to a into 3 plus 7 so 3 into 4 is 12 is equal to 3a plus 7 shift 7 over there 12 minus 7 is 5 is equal to 3a shift 3 in division so a is equal to 5 by 3 right so the value of a will be equal to 5 by 3 so remember the concept here is if a point lies on the graph of any equation or on the on the graph of any line or on the graph of any equation that point must satisfy that equation the point must satisfy that that equation so if 3 comma 4 lies on the graph of this equation that means 3 comma 4 must be a solution right next part let's look at the next question from the choices given below choose equation whose graphs are given in the figure 4.6 so this is the figure given to you they are saying this line represents which equation out of these all so dip dekho beta definitely we need to look the equation which will satisfy all the three points the equation which is going to satisfy all the three points let's take the point minus 1 comma 1 okay so the first part we'll take the equation the point we have taken is mi minus 1 comma 1 that means x is equal to minus 1 y equal to 1 so the first one we have equation y equal to x if i put x as 1 y as 1 x as minus and you can clearly say they are not equal so y is equal to x is not a correct answer theek hai let's look at the second equation x plus y equal to 0 x is minus 1 plus 1 yes that is equal to 0 it is satisfying so equation second can be the answer it can be first one is definitely not the answer we know it because it is not satisfying minus 1 comma 1 third part y is equal to 2x put y as 
x is 2 into minus 1. So 1 and here minus 2 you can clearly see they are not equal. So again the third one is also not the answer. Right? Because not, not satisfying that 1 comma minus 1. The fourth part 2 plus 3y is equal to 7x. I know it will not satisfy. See put x as minus 1 and y as 1. So 2 plus 3 into 1 and it will be equal to 5 and 7 into minus 1 will be equal to minus 7. Again they are not equal. So I saw the second point, the second equation is satisfying only one, the, the point minus 1 comma 1. But by, see if we want to be sure, we need to check now that this x plus y is satisfying all the three points. So in this x plus y equal to 0, put 0 comma 0. So 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Yes sir, second point is also satisfied. Third point, so x plus y equal to 0, put x as 1, y as minus 1. Yes sir, still it is satisfying. So all the three points are satisfying. That means yes sir, x plus y equal to 0 is your correct answer. x plus y equal to 0 is your correct answer. Okay, beta. This is how this question will be solved. Okay, so just put the values. All the three points which are given over here, they must satisfy the equation. They must satisfy the equation. That is the concept over here, right? Okay, beta. So this is how it will be solved. Now, those who want to just register for Vedantu's Pro subscription, the link is given in the description box of this video as well as the pinned comment and the coupon code is GP Pro to get 20 percentage off. Just GP Pro lagaoge. You will get 20% off. One month ka price beta. Ye hai tumhara. This is the price code. Three months. Ye dekh lo yahan pe. Ye dekh lo yahan pe. Tumko sab diya hua hai coupon code ke saath mein. Thik hai. And remember. Ye jo hai tumhara price jo hai. Ye tumhara inclusive of all the subjects hai. Maths, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, SST, English. Sare subjects mila ke aaya hua hai. Thik hai. Bhoat affordable hai. Those who want to purchase. Those who need guidance right now. Tum log aa sakte ho vidaan tumhe. And uh, welcome. करते हम लोग तुम्हारा वहां पे ठीक है आराम से आ सकते हो एंड दो सो कैन नॉट अफोर्ड नो प्रॉब्लम विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग हियर एज़ वेल ठीक है बेटा सो दिस इज ऑल फ्रॉम माय साइड थैंक यू सो मच प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक द वीडियो शेयर द वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू सो मच आई विल सी यू सून बाय बाय सायोनारा खुदा हाफिज टू ऑल ऑफ यू बाय बाय